Okay, so first thing, weigh out your flour and tip that into a large mixing bowl. Mine wasn't in a bag because I've got it from Breaks. They have been a lifesaver during this lockdown. A quarter teaspoon of salt and a table, uh, sorry, a teaspoon of baking powder. Then what we're gonna do is weigh your 85 grams of butter. Next, I just want you to take the same knife and just drop the butter, which should be room temperature by the way, into your flour mixture. And we're gonna rub that through with our fingers until it resembles dry bread crumbs. Now, I've already said this in the caption, but I'm not gonna take um, credit for this recipe. It is a BBC Good Food. I've tried many recipes for scones and this remains my favourite. So, if you want one, I figure I might as well just find and share my good find from BBC Good Food. One of the first ones that come up, I think, when you search it, but it's a goodie. Once your mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs, weigh out, sorry, measure out your milk and heat that up in the microwave for 30 seconds. Um, should have said as well, I've preheated the oven to 200 degrees. Once you heated it up for 30, 40 seconds, teaspoon of vanilla extract, put it in. And I also want you to put a touch of lemon juice in. Now you see that start to curdle. Don't be alarmed. This is how you actually make buttermilk if you don't have just the, the jug of buttermilk to hand. So you'll see it start to separate, might look a bit weird, do not worry. So this is that is exactly what we're looking for. When your milk, lemon and vanilla is sitting to one side, I want you to put three tablespoons of your castor sugar into your mix and give that a stir round. And then create a small well in the middle of your dry mixture is that's where we're going to pour the wet mixture. And then all you're going to do, see the milk, looks as if it's split slightly, ideal. Pour that into your well and combine with a butter knife. Yes, a butter knife. Once you've combined your 100 grams of sultanas and also mix that through. on a flat surface, sprinkle in some flour and get your dough and what we're going to do is shape them into scones. I'm going to want you to flatten that out with a rolling pin and then shape them however you like, triangles, squares, whatever. I'm going to shape mine with a glass filled with love because I don't have the cutters but you'll see how well they actually work out using this. And then the last little bit of dough, I just like to actually shape into a scone shape myself, just so there's no waste at all. Like so. When you're shaping your scones with a rolling pin, don't roll them down too hard, just lightly to get the desired consistency. Finally, get your egg, break it into a cup, whisk it up, and what we're gonna do is deglaze the top of the scones with your egg mixture. Do that, and then we're gonna put it in the preheated oven. So we put these in a preheated oven for approximately 10 minutes, but we're looking for them to rise and be golden on top. So I so left them an extra minute, but that's me taking the scones out at 11 minutes. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy.